In this video, I'm going to discuss about RTD sensor materials and the materials that are used for RTD sensors or metals. Metals are having positive temperature coefficient of resistance means the resistance will increase with increase of the temperature and the change in resistance is measured and it is converted to temperature. And the widely used metals for RTDs are platinum, nickel and copper and there are other metals but they are not used because of their limitations. Here you can see gold and silver metals are having low resistivity means their change in resistance per unit temperature variation is low and this makes the measurement difficult and because of that these metals are not used for RTDs. Here you can see copper is also having low resistivity but it is used in some applications like measurement of the motor winding temperature because of its low cost. Nickel RTD sensors are used in cost sensitive applications like consumer appliances and heating and ventilation systems and they are having limited temperature range. Out of all the metals, platinum is a widely used RTD material because of its so many advantages like high resistivity that is change in resistance per unit temperature variation is high, high corrosion resistance this improves the life of the RTD sensor, high temperature range and good long term stability. Here you can see the table showing the resistivity values for different materials. So platinum is having high resistivity value and uh, this is the one of the reason platinum is a widely used RTD material. Here you can see the temperature coefficient of resistance alpha value for the different metals. Higher the value, higher the sensitivity of the RTD. If for platinum here you can see the two values 0 0.00385 and uh, the RTDs with this alpha value is used for industrial applications and 0 0.00392 alpha values are used for RTDs for lab application where high uh, accuracy is required and you can see the uh, alpha value for copper and nickel and there are RTDs uh, with uh, alpha values other than this and they are also available in the market. Here you can see the comparison of the different RTDs. Here I have taken uh, three RTDs with respect to the three metals PT100, Nickel120 and Copper100 and the number in the sensor indicates the resistance at uh, 0 degree centigrade. Suppose if you take Platinum100, it is having 100 ohms at 0 degree centigrade. Similarly Nickel120, 120, 120 ohms at 0 degree centigrade. Here we can see the temperature range and platinum sensors are having high temperature range and long term stability if you see platinum is having best and then uh, copper and then nickel and corrosion resistance is uh, best for platinum and then nickel and then copper if you see linearity, linearity is uh, having uh, best for copper and then platinum and then nickel here you can see uh, the resistance ratios and then the alpha values for these uh, three RTDs here you can see the graph that's showing the temperature versus resistance for uh, these uh, three RTDs. So copper RTD is having best linearity. So this is you can see from this graph and then platinum and then nickel. So here you can see the different RTD sensors uh, for these three metals platinum 100, platinum 200 and nickel 100, nickel 120 and copper 100 and these sensors are used uh, for different applications and the number in the sensor name indicates the resistance is 0 degree centigrade suppose if you see platinum 100 it is having 100 ohms at 0 degree centigrade similarly if you take platinum 1000 it is having uh, 1000 ohms at 0 degree centigrade so till now we have seen the classification of RTDs based on the material of the construction and now uh, we can we are seeing uh, the RTD sensor classification based on their construction and they are classified as wire wound type and uh, thin film uh, type RTDs and uh, wire wound type RTDs are used in application which require high stability and also low self heating effect and whereas thin film type RTDs are used in applications which require faster response and also uh, low cost. Here you can see the table uh, that showing the advantages of thin film RTD sensor and wire wound type RTD sensor. Thank you for watching my video.